Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome back to Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This image features Peru's Calcaya ice cap, the largest in the tropics. Resting high up in the Peruvian Andes, the ice cap has been shrinking due to rising temperatures in the region, losing over 20% of its area since the 1970s. Downstream communities rely on this water source for drinking and electricity in this dry region, but some estimates show that the ice cap will vanish in a matter of decades, draining the water supply for millions of people. In the far upper left corner of the image, we can see the Corycalis Glacier, which is the ice cap's main outlet. This glacier is retreating, and this retreat has accelerated in recent years, losing about 50% of its total length since the 1960s. As a result of the glacier's melting, a lake began to form in the late 1980s and has grown over the years. Other smaller lakes have also formed around the ice cap. Meltwater lakes are generally lighter in color because of the presence of fine particles produced by the grinding of the ice over the bedrock, called rock flower. When this flower turns the water white or cloudy, it is referred to as glacial milk. The false color of this image makes vegetation appear bright red, and we can clearly see how vegetation grows mainly in the valleys and along the paths of water runoff. This image was acquired on June 29th of 2009 by the Korea Airspace Research Institute's CompSat-2 satellite. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV Studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.